Hello people, this is the heavily corroded Game Boy that I opened in the previous video. Um, it's, it's took some doing, but now if we, if we turn this on, we got the Nintendo logo and the game boots are missing some pixels down the left and right side of the screen and the speaker doesn't work but the motherboard has been fixed the cartridge slot seems a, a bit temperamental there we go it's Tetris and Mario loading up it's, it's a bit it's a bit annoying that the cartridge slot is a bit temperamental with these games. There you go, that's the Nintendo. That's corrupted. Corrupted. Tetris has a better. So the cartridge slot needs either replacing or a very good clean out one of the two but it does work the directional buttons all work um, so I'm missing like I say I'm, the, the screen needs to be addressed um, and we need a new speaker to put on the bottom but I just wanted to have a show you an update of it of it working as sort um, and I'll just have I got any screws in nope I'll just open this up and I'll show you what it's taken to get it this far got a bit of corrosion on here I haven't opened this yet so I haven't looked at the speaker the speaker wires here to look and test um, and I haven't tried to do anything with the, the screen yet so we'll just put that to one side but this is the state of, of the motherboard at the moment heavily corroded all around here so what I had to do I found a place online which I'll link in the description um, and they gave me the pinouts so I, I printed these out as big as I can so I can see them and I was able to trace from the bottom pins up to the vias traced each one up to the vias and then sometimes some have got second vias um, and I've replaced there's three here which have been replaced three not working so they've been addressed and on the other side of the board out there we go on the other side of the board let's put the screws down so I get these out I'll just work these out tracing was a bit difficult on the other side of the board because the cartridge slot underneath the cartridge slot you can kind of see what's happening but with the help of the with the help of the printouts I was able to identify 
which pin on the RAM chips went to which pin up here on the CPU um, and there was four I put four pins on the bottom of this RAM chip go underneath the cartridge underneath the cartridge slot and four of them were damaged so I've took some some wire some jumper wire and I've just soldered them onto the pins and I've took three up to the corresponding pins on the CPU um, and one goes along the bottom up to the bottom pin on the CPU they've been they've been glued down with some solder mask and I've used a bit of captain tape on the wires up there to secure them down um, it's by far the, the hardest smallest solder that I've tackled so far and I think this has been the longest attempted repair that I've tackled so far but that's it so that's what I've had to do um, but it's I've melted a bit of the I've melted a bit of the uh, the cartridge slot here with the solder iron but that cartridge slot I don't know whether to replace it. I'd like to replace it for a brand new one, but you don't seem to be able to, be able to buy them. Um, so that's what I've done so far. I've learned a lot. I've struggled with it, but I've learned a lot. It's, it's been a great experience for me. Um, would I do things differently next time? I probably should have just taken that cartridge slot off desoldered it and then I could have checked and I could have seen all the corrosion I could have seen all the corrosion behind here um, and that would have made things easier for us but these printouts are great I'll leave a link in the description for the to where I got these from um, and that's it so that's the state of the Game Boy so far working cartridge slot needs to be cleaned up to get it 100% working um, and I think when I when I've got a bit of time, when I'm bored, um, I'll come back and I'll I'll try and get the speaker working, um, and I'll take a look at that screen and see if we can run a warm solder and iron along the bottom and get some of them get some of them lines back so we can get a, a full screen on there. All in all, it's been a nice challenging project, which is yet to be finished so not bad 30 pounds um, the case is lovely it, it, there's no corrosion on the, on the battery terminals so I don't know how it's ended up in such a state but never mind you live and learn um, and if I, if I come back to this I'll, I'll make another video and I'll update you uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and good night.